Hi guys, what's going on? Patrick here and welcome to the video. If you watched the video that I put up on Tuesday, you probably realized I had a very big potato moment. And what happened is that I filmed the whole recipe video without turning the microphone on. So I had like 30 minutes of recipe footage without audio to it. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you the recipe I had already filmed. But this time, as you guys can probably tell, we're having audio to it. So we are good on that part. And what I'm going to show you is how you can probably create the best chocolate protein shake you're ever going to taste. And why is that? Because I like to try different variations and combinations to create a flavor that I like and not get so quickly bored of. And usually I get very quickly bored of using plain chocolate or vanilla whey protein, but trying out different variations and combinations can help prevent that. And what I'm going to show you today is like my version of the best chocolate protein shake. And without further ado, grab yourself a snack, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. First of all, we're going to take out the blender or food processor. So our first ingredient is going to be 40 grams of a chocolate whey protein powder. Next up, we're going to add 30 grams of an unsweetened cocoa powder. Our next ingredient is going to be 30 grams of dark chocolate chips. Then we're going to add 25 grams of sweetener of your choice. I'm using Erichit today. You can use stevia sugar, brown sugar, coconut sugar, whatever you like. Try out different variations to create the flavor that you like. So our last and final ingredient is going to be 450 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk. So guys, we're ending up with a very thick and creamy protein shake, which is how I like it. I hope you do as well. Regarding our macros, they aren't as good if we would just use basic chocolate or vanilla protein powder. But on the other hand, we're getting a very delicious protein shake, which is awesome. So guys, I thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please feel free to give it a like. It's very much appreciated. Be sure to check out the other recipes on my channel if you haven't already. Leave some comments down below what you think of this recipe video. Maybe also some suggestions that I can incorporate into future recipe videos because I would really love doing that. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.